I'll be recapping a Korean drama called The Killing Vote. It starts with journalist resuming her Killing Vote show. She informs the audience that they're going to open a public forum where people can share stories of injustice, and the story with the highest likes will be considered by masked vigilante. At the station, fiancé holds a guard hostage, and he's shot in retaliation. This distraction allows Professor to escape, with Hyun and Detective pursuing him, but he still manages to lose them. Professor has a flashback, which shows that the first letter from number one fan was him admitting his murder of his daughter. Later, Kim's grandmother secretly handed him a phone while treating him. Professor texted Kim and told him they needed to expose the killer to the world, setting his plan into motion. At present, Kim and his grandmother head to Masked Vigilante's main server room and find it trashed by Masked Vigilante No. 5, who's the taxi driver from the first killing vote. They suspect taxi driver betrayed them to join forces with politician, and that's how they managed to implicate detective in the previous killing vote. Kim gets a message from Hyun's sister that she's waiting for him at the playground, and he leaves to meet her. Detective is searching Professor's house when Hyun also arrives, and he finally discloses to her about Professor's near adoption of an orphan boy. Kim meets Hyun's sister, and as they're talking, he sees a shadow and excuses himself from her, saying that his father has arrived for him. It's indeed Professor, and they embrace. Professor visits the server room with Kim and his grandmother. Kim's grandmother wonders if number three will betray them like number five, but Professor assures them he won't. Elsewhere, teacher is marveling over the killing vote program he got courtesy of Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver reminds teacher that he promised to get him his revenge and also reveals that the program was made by number one. Meanwhile, politician orders journalist to choose a fabricated story from the forum that she has been manipulating. This pisses off journalist, and afterwards she gets a call from detective. In prison, Hyun investigates professor, and she finds out that his doctor was Kim's grandmother. Meanwhile, detective is also looking into the boy professor was supposed to adopt but doesn't find conclusive information. As he wraps up, Hyun calls and tells him about professor's and Kim's grandmother's connection. Simultaneously, journalist breaks the news about professor's escape from police custody, which lands the investigation team in even more trouble than before. We then see Dan getting a text from masked vigilante number one. Detective visits Kim's grandmother to question her about Professor, and the hiding Professor listens on from upstairs. Detective notices movements upstairs and rushes over, but can't find anyone, therefore, he leaves, still filled with suspicion. As news about his escape spreads, Professor blends into the crowd and slips a note to an approaching man. Whom we find out is actually a police officer. Following the message he received, Dan and Hyun believe they have a lead on the real masked vigilante number one, and have set up a meeting with him in a park. However, it turns out to be an ordinary student who delivers a note to them, which simply says, see you when the weather is nice. Elsewhere, Professor assures Kim that Hyun will decipher his note and that they must reclaim the program from teacher. Trying to understand the note, Hyun finds out that there's two weather apps on their phones, and she exclaims that she has figured it just as detective arrives. Journalist is about to begin her killing vote show when the police arrive. Hyun informs the audience about the two apps and tells them the second app is how masked vigilante accesses their personal details and streams, so asks them to delete the app. Teacher is watching this on the news and gets enraged, but politician calms him and ensures him that it isn't over yet. Afterwards, Hyun confronts journalist about leaking professor's escape to the public. Journalist retorts that Hyun should first find out who gave her that information. Hyun realizes it was detective and confronts him. He says it was the fastest way to find Professor. Hyun is disappointed and says she will leave his team. The next day, Dan realizes an electricity surge from politician's house, and shortly after, the killing vote starts. The fake masked vigilante admits that the public has lost faith in him. To make up to them, he picks the popular incident on the message board for that day's vote, the same one politician manipulated. The incident is about a real estate con artist who stole from a family, causing the family to unalive themselves. At the moment, the con artist is tied to a chair, and we see taxi driver is one of the people surrounding him. The man had sent him to prison, so this was the revenge he was talking about. Turns out not a lot of people deleted the app, therefore the final vote is beyond 50%, and the man is killed. The next day, Hyun and Dan infiltrate politician's house disguised as people from the internet company. Hyun sneaks into teacher's room but keeps in touch with Dan. At first, Hyun doesn't find anything suspicious, but shortly after, finds teacher's secret room and unlocks his mega computer. Engrossed in the investigation, she fails to notice when the secret room closes. She panics momentarily, but pulls herself together and continues searching. 
she finds an implicating video of professor's daughter crying for her father. Concurrently, teacher is on his way home. Hyun sends detective the video she found and informs him of her predicament. Therefore, detective gathers his team to rescue her. However, teacher arrives ahead of them. As he's about to enter, he gets a call from politician and he returns to his car. We then see that politician already has the video evidence Hyun found, and the police mole is none other than Detective Choi. As Detective is leaving the police station, Teacher arrives and turns himself in, confessing to his crimes. Teacher's computers start formatting themselves just as the police arrive to seize them, a bit too late. Detective and his team head to the murder site based on the video Hyun uncovered and find it neatly painted and the floors changed. Detective figures that politician knew about her son's actions all along. He also surmises that teacher's timing to surrender was too much of a coincidence, unless politician had intel that they had found the video. Detective Choi chimes that it must be a criminal's instinct, but detective looks at him suspiciously. Hyun believes teacher would have backed up his data on cloud storage, therefore she looks for his laptop and finds it in school. The team has so far figured out that taxi driver stole the program and joined politician. Detective suggests they look closer at Kim's grandmother, since masked vigilante seemed to have help from a medical expert. Dan also points out an unknown person X, a tech-savvy person who must have created and spread the killing vote. Afterwards, Hyun informs Detective that they couldn't find anything on teacher's laptop. Journalist is having a drink at a bar when Professor enters. She tries to escape, but finds the door locked. Professor then confesses that he is masked vigilante, and offers her a proposition. On her next show, Journalist features masked vigilante as her guest. He apologizes for installing the app without their consent but promises them that their data isn't being stolen. Then he requests that the people update the app to continue fighting for justice. Afterwards, he describes the next target, who's clearly teacher, even though he doesn't reveal his name. The police arrive only to find out that the show was actually pre-recorded. At the station, the police officer who took a note from professor receives a message from masked vigilante number one, asking for help. Hyun visits teacher in his cell and gives him an alarm watch for emergencies since he is officially a target. Detective is studying Kim's and his grandmother's files when he learns that Kim is adopted. He figures that Kim is the tech-savvy person X Dan was talking about and informs Hyun about it. Kim and his grandmother have a heartfelt conversation where she tells him that she is going to turn herself in for him and he should go to Germany to study, which makes him very emotional and tearful. Outside their house, Hyun and Detective Choi talk about the new development. He steps outside the car and leaks to politician about Kim's involvement. Meanwhile, teacher asks for his medicine, and the officer contacted by masked vigilante hands him a medicine cup. Suddenly, he's not able to breathe after drinking from the cup, and he's rushed to the hospital. Politician also rushes to the hospital and is informed teacher ingested nicotine, which is too much for his weak heart. Coincidentally, fiancé is in the same hospital recovering from his gunshot wound. He discreetly kidnaps the stable but unconscious teacher and leaves the hospital in an ambulance. By the time politician enters the room, the bed is empty. Meanwhile, detective arrests Kim's grandmother in a supermarket. Teacher wakes up to find himself being streamed live, facing the professor. Professor tells him if he sincerely apologizes, the people may take pity on him and vote no, but he's arrogant and unapologetic. Professor asks why he killed his daughter and he answers because professor paid him no attention because of her. Fiancé smashes teacher's watch so that the police can't track him anymore. The police lose their lead, but they've already triangulated a general area, and detective tells them to look out for power surges. Professor plays loud music, which is torture to teacher's weak heart. Teacher looks at the camera and hurls insults at the people. Undoubtedly, this just makes more people vote yes. Dan finds a power surge in a nearby internet cafe, and Hyun enters without waiting for backup. She searches the cafe and finds a hidden door. While outside, she asks the masked vigilante who is inside to come out, promising not to hurt him. Sure enough, it turns out to be Kim. Voting ends with a verdict to execute. Teacher finally collapses from the loud noise just as the police arrive, so Professor moves to choke him to death. The police restrain him while Detective tries to revive Teacher. Professor begs Detective not to save him, and Detective hesitates, remembering the voice of Professor's daughter in the video. Detective saves Teacher anyway, upsetting Professor. In a flashback eight years ago, we realize Detective Choi took a bribe from politician to protect Teacher. At present, Professor and Fiancé are arrested. Detective Choi insists on taking Teacher to the hospital and leaves first, with Fiancé as well, in the first car. 
Prison guard also insists on accompanying Professor to prison, together with detective, in the second car. Meanwhile, Hyun escorts Kim outside the building, but a group of youngsters organized by Hyun's sister suddenly crowd around her, which allows Kim to escape with Hyun's sister. Detective Choi informs politician that he's taking teacher to the hospital. She spots two police cars and asks him which car they're riding in. Detective Choi ponders and lies there in the second car. When the cars cross an intersection, a truck rams into the first car, which is Detective Choi's car. Fiancé dies on impact. Detective rushes and pulls Detective Choi out of the car, which is about to explode. Prison guard releases Professor, who immediately goes to the other car to finish Teacher. Teacher taunts Professor with details about his daughter's death, and Professor approaches him with a piece of broken glass. Detective stops him but gets stabbed by prison guard. This allows Professor to finally stab Teacher. The car catches fire and explodes, with a smiling teacher inside. Professor and prison guard get into the other car and escape. Dan calls Hyun to inform her of everything, which stops her pursuit of Kim. Politician arrives at the scene after the paramedics and is distraught to learn of her son's death. While talking with his senior, detective wonders if politician is behind the attack since she found them so quickly. The senior questions detective Choi's loyalty, but detective trusts him. Hyun's sister helps Kim settle down in an apartment, and he opens up about teacher unaliving his sister. By now, the team has figured prison guard is the missing masked vigilante. Back at work, Hyun shows detective a recording of Detective Choi's phone call with politician, revealing their partnership. Turns out detective had already figured it out when teacher turned himself in, because only the three of them knew of the video Hyun found. Hyun then plays the part where politician asks Detective Choi which car her son is in. Detective hears Detective Choi lie and realizes he saved his life. They also figure Detective Choi must have saved these call recordings on purpose to implicate politician. Detective pays a visit to politician, who's mourning her son. She blames the police for teacher's death, but detective reminds her that she is the one who killed him. Politician sues the police, but they know it's just her tactic of buying time to cover the fact she's the one who hired the track driver. Hyun notices her sister's suspicious movements, and she devises a plan with detective. Hyun texts her sister that Kim is on the wanted list. Her sister panics and rushes to the apartment, unknowingly leading Hyun and detective. They arrive to an empty apartment, and Hyun reprimands her sister for being willful, then forcefully takes Kim's new number. Kim is actually at the seaside with Professor and Prison Guard, who is masked vigilante number 3. Professor implores Kim to leave, and Prison Guard hands him a fake ID and flight tickets. Before leaving, Kim asks Professor if he resents him for being late to meet his daughter on the day she died, and Professor says no. By going through Prison Guard's properties, the team finds Professor's potential hiding place. Meanwhile, journalist gets kidnapped by politician. Just then, she receives a call from detective, and she leaves clues about her predicament. Kim secretly visits Hyun's sister, where he informs her that he'll be leaving while his father will expose teachers and politician's crimes then turn himself in. Just then the killing vote begins again, and the target is Professor, putting himself on the vote for all his killings. Kim frantically tries to contact Professor to stop him. In the meantime, Hyun's sister secretly informs Hyun of their location. Kim wants to leave to stop Professor, but Hyun's sister stops him. He persuades her to let him go and promises to turn himself in after he stops Professor from killing himself. She agrees but accompanies him and texts Hyun that Kim will turn himself in after he finishes what he wants to do. The police arrive at Professor's hideout, and Detective proceeds alone to negotiate. At the same time, Kim starts a live stream. He removes his mask and tells everyone what teacher did to Professor, then implores them to vote no. Politician, who is monitoring online forums, also sees his identity and, driven by vengeance, puts a bounty on his head. Hyun and Dan realize Kim is now in danger and rush to his location. A group of bullies from Kim's school see the bounty on Kim's head and start looking for him. At the same time, the public, after listening to Kim's story of injustice, abstain from voting, and the killing vote is cancelled. Kim receives a call from his grandmother, asking him to turn himself in since Hyun promised to protect him, and Detective is on his way to save Professor. Kim agrees, but unfortunately, the group of bullies show up. Detective enters the hideout right after Professor hangs himself and holds him up, calling for help. Meanwhile, prison guard gets into a car and escapes. Elsewhere, Hyun and Dan keep searching for Kim and her sister. The police badge into politician's house to rescue journalist after seeing her kidnapping footage, but they find her safely having tea with politician. Journalist pretends everything is fine and leaves. 
At this time, Kim is getting beat up by the group of bullies. One of them starts hitting him with a metal pipe just as Hyun and Dan arrive, her gun drawn. Regardless, the boy hits Kim behind the head. As they rush to him, the boys run away. While Kim is bleeding out, he gives Hyun a flash drive. Professor is revived at the hideout, but in Hyun's arms, Kim is unresponsive. Prison guard sees from a security camera that Professor survived, and he angrily turns back. Hyun arrives at the hideout and hits Professor, telling him it's his fault. Professor is in denial, but the truth soon sets in that now he's lost both his kids, and he sinks to his knees in despair. On the way to the police station, Professor requests Detective to stop by the seashore to say goodbye to his daughter, and Detective agrees. Professor and Detective are talking when they're suddenly interrupted by prison guard, holding Hyun at gunpoint. Prison guard asks Detective to let Professor go, and he will free Hyun, so Detective drops his gun and moves away. Professor offers prison guard the program's flash drive so that he can change the world however he sees fit. This delights but also distracts prison guard, offering Hyun the chance to push the gun off his hand. Prison guard rushes to grab the flash drive, and in the chaos, they both fall into the water, and Detective jumps in after them. Sometime later, the police chief holds a press conference and declares Professor, Kim and prison guard dead, closing the case. He also lies that Professor killed Kim, angering Hyun. Detective is saddened by their deaths, and as he's going through the case files, he notices something and rushes to politician's house with his team. At the scene of the death of Professor's daughter, his team is breaking down the pillar when politician arrives in a panic, questioning their motives. He tells her a search warrant was issued. She takes out her phone to call a lawyer, but he tells her nobody in the country could help her as the commissioner is unreachable and her husband is divorcing her, leaving her dumbfounded. The team breaks the column in the room to find another column hidden inside it. They use UV light, revealing bloodstains. In a flashback, we see politician was watching from the balcony as teacher and retard carried the body of professor's daughter. She went to the basement and saw blood all over the column. At present, detective arrests politician now that there's finally enough evidence. Hyun stands by the seashore and throws the flash drive Kim gave her into the sea. Detective says that's the passcode to the killing vote and asks her if she's sure, and she affirms. Hyun also tells him that he still doesn't understand what Professor really wanted. So, she denies his offer to join his team and decides to go back to her previous department. One year later, Hyun is the ace of her team, Detective Choi has quit and is working in a cafe, and Dan is dating one of the female police on the team. Meanwhile, it is the 20th birthday of Hyun's sister, and she receives a pre-programmed message from Kim. He admits she was a bright spot in his life, then apologizes and thanks her for everything. Hyun still keeps track of people who are found at sea, just in case Professor is still alive since they never recovered his body. Detective meets Detective Choi, and they discuss how politician was let go after her secretary took the fall for her. But Detective Choi still believes in Detective's ability to change things. Meanwhile, Politician is helping at a volunteer event, seemingly repentant of her crimes. However, after the event, she gets into a car with someone suspicious. We learn they're working on a new killing vote program, with their first target being the politician who organized the volunteer event. Detective is tracking taxi driver when a biker pulls up and hands him a killing vote flash drive. Detective catches up to taxi driver and beats him up for helping criminals. Around the same time, Hyun receives an email from someone named Watchdog 6, about an update involving an unidentified man. The drama ends with Detective putting on a dog mask as he walks into the street, and a hand underwater grabbing a killing vote flash drive. Subscribe, like, comment, and share for more content like this. Bye.